Hi, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Phone Central. Here are the video review of Earth Defense Force 2025 for Xbox 360. 2025 has two main game modes, Mission Mode, which is offline, and Online Mission Mode, the same thing, but online. There's also a Versus Mode that you won't play much because it's just split screen. And there are downloadable mission packs, which can be played offline or online. Both the offline mode and the online mode can be played with two split screen players, which is really cool. 2025 is a much different game from the previous Earth Defense Force game, Insect Armageddon, but it does still offer four playable classes. The first of those classes is the Ranger, who returns from Earth Defense Force 2017. He's the all-around guy. He's got machine guns, rocket launchers, missile launchers. Basically just a, a fun character to play, but nothing too complex. Next up is the Wing Diver, who's probably the best character in the game. She can fly and move around really fast, which is very useful for picking up items or just getting out of sticky situations. But both her jetpack and her weapons use the same energy meter. If you fly around too much or shoot too much, then she'll run out of energy and be unable to do either of those things until it fills back up in a moment. So you have to be careful about what you're doing, otherwise you might get stuck in a group of enemies, which isn't good. Next is the Air Raider, this game's support class. He can heal other players, reduce how much damage they're taking, or give them extra energy for their weapons. His actual guns are extremely limited compared to the other characters, which makes him difficult to play by yourself, but he does have one really cool feature, and that's the ability to summon vehicles. He gets tanks, helicopters, and even mechs to control, which is really cool. Finally, there's the Fencer, this game's tank class. He carries four weapons instead of only two like most of the other classes. He gets melee weapons like hammers and spears, as well as gatling guns, rocket launchers, and others. The bad thing about the Fencer is that he walks slower than any other class, which can make him a little frustrating for beginners. But if you equip a weapon that allows him to dash, like I've done, then you can just dash around all over the place, which makes him actually pretty useful. Earth Defense Force 2025's campaign mode spans a whopping 85 stages offline. They vary in length from 5 to about 15 minutes, usually. And each one can be played on five different difficulties, which actually has a purpose in this game, because you can earn different weapons on different difficulties, and one of your main objectives is collecting all the weapons in the game. This is a great game for loot hunters, because there are over 700 different weapons to find. Enemies randomly drop weapon crates and armor pickups. The actual weapon that you get is randomized from the pool of weapons that the level provides, but it's really cool picking up a bunch of them and then seeing what you got at the end of the level. The red armor pickups that enemies drop permanently increase your life meter, so after you've picked up enough of them, you'll have quite a bit more life than you started out with. Earth Defense Force is not a story-intensive game. There is some unique dialogue in most levels that basically advances the overall story, but it's not very important. You're mostly just playing to shoot huge swarms of enemies and look for items. This type of game is naturally a lot better with other players, which is why it's good that it supports co-op. Online, you can have up to four players team up at a time. Two of those can be split-screen on one system. But if you're both playing on the same system, you're going to share the same profile and pickups. Playing online with others allows you to mix up the classes and just cause a lot of destruction. The enemies have more health, which makes it more challenging, but you're all working together. So really, it's a great way to play. Interestingly, your online campaign progress is separate from offline. So if you unlock stages online, they are not going to be unlocked offline. You'll have to play through both ways if you want to do that. Separating online and offline progress like that is a little bit unintuitive, but it does add to the game's replay value, and this game already has tremendous replay value with more than 85 stages and the five different difficulty levels. Achievement-wise, you actually do have to play through with all four characters, and you've got to beat it on four different difficulties. So that's a total of 16 playthroughs, unless you play split-screen, in which case that number is cut down to 8, since you'll get credit for both characters. A lot of players were disappointed with the previous game, Insect Armageddon, because it deviated too much from what they know and love from this series. I'm glad to report that 2025 has everything you loved from the first game, Earth Defense Force 2017, and a number of improvements, like the multiple classes and online mode. 
and it's so much longer. There are way more stages than Insect Armageddon, and they are much shorter, the enemies don't take as much damage to kill, and even the writing and dialogue are better. So, in short, Earth Defense Force 2025 is a vast improvement over Insect Armageddon, and also still a better game than Earth Defense Force 2017. If you like niche games, or collecting loot and grinding, few games are more satisfying than Earth Defense Force 2025. Thanks for watching. Read the full review at WPCentral.com.